here we are at number five. Today, we're doing this. It's an honor. 2022 Scream 5, directed by Brian Tyler. Five movies in the franchise. And I know there's another one. I know there's a six. I know they're filming six or they're going to start filming six, something like that. But we at five. The whole gang is back. <laughs> Sydney, Dewey, and Gail. None of them are dead. None of them are dead. This is the fifth time somebody tried. I know they are pissed. I would be so pissed. I would go away somewhere. They wouldn't find me because I would. <laughs> Four times? That's excessive. Different. It's like a cult of stupidness. The gang. They're all here. Man, 40s now? 50s? I don't know. Apparently somebody's still trying to kill them. And really, how many people have they killed? Shit. Where is the investigation going? Man? I got a question. Franchise is dope. Not undermining that. I'm just saying. That's a lot of dead people following these people. I'm going to press play because you got to do that to watch it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, better do so, man. Like, share, comment. Let's hang out. When you can. When you, when you want to hang out, I'm always here. Okay. Here we go. There's really somebody calling the house. I think we have a house phone. I think. I think the last time I used it was like 1988. Shit. From her shit? Um, look, just uh, tell her I'm from group. Okay, well, she loves that you're creative and that you guys have that in common. She's proud of making a fan. And are there more stab movies in this movie? Isn't that a little fancy pants? And it was like super 90s. Huh. It was like really overlit and everyone had weird hair. Would you like to play a game, Tara? <laughs> that was kind of, that was good. That was good. Oh no, not again. I want to play a game. I don't ask, ask me about something I do know. Ask me about It Follows. Ask me about Hereditary. Ask me about the witch. Franchise's main character. It's a Sydney Prescott. It's Sydney Prescott and she lived on Elm. Correct. Question one. Who wrote the original book <sighs> that the Stab movies are based on? Oh, Gail Weathers. It is Gail Weathers, you motherfucker. Correct. Who played the dumb bitch at the beginning of Stab 1? Uh, I better stop answering these questions for... <laughs> Motherfucker come in and try to stab him if you want to. Yeah. Heather Graham! Who was the killer in Stab 1? <laughs> it's Billy Loomis! It's Billy Loomis and he was Sydney's boyfriend One and the two of them? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Tara, but that's just not correct. There are two killers in the original Stab. <laughs> Shit, she grabbed the knife herself. Oh! Oh, he weak as hell. <laughs> he did stab her. This better not be no damn movie. All systems disarmed. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, he got your shit. Stab eight. Yo, know, she's a tough you know, woman. Kicking his ass. Oh! That's what we doing? She got one leg. She's still kicking your ass. Oh. Sam? Hey. What's going on? Stabbed. 
stabbed? She made it through surgery, the and the doctor said it went well. My sister was attacked. Wait, wait, hey, 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 hey. Uh, I'm going with you. It's him. He's a killer. <laughs> I'm blaming everybody right out the gate. One of these motherfuckers is the killer. I don't trust nobody in the screen movie. She's coming? Yeah. He wants me to accept his find my fan request. It's the smartest option with a would-be killer on the loose. I'm sure she's asking everybody. I mean, Ghostface is back. The press still isn't saying Ghostface. My mom is the one who calls a panic. He looks like a young Freddie Prince Jr. Or am I tripping? Yeah, he he worked with me and Tara. He worked with Tara? And he's been stalking my... You've got bruises. It's from football practice. Oh, sure. Tara's awake. She just texted. I've actually never seen Stab. You've never seen Stab. Killer! Last <laughs> year? I mean, I've never seen... I don't seen know about them kids. They look like new Power Rangers. A bunch of high school kids while wearing this... Halloween ghost mask. Well, I gotta make sure Tara's okay. Right, yes, of course. Do you have any idea why someone wearing that mask would want to kill your sister? How are you feeling? You okay? Look, guys, Tara's really tired. Maybe we should just give her some space. Yeah. 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 I want you to stay. On Sam's 18th birthday, she leaves. Ghosts them all. Maybe Sam's changed. I just don't want to see Tara hurt again. So what, you're protecting Tara from her own sister? Oh. Right, that's what I was thinking. We all know wow. you have a crush on Tara. Okay, come on, Mindy. But we're all suspects. Oh, well, yeah. You want a real drink? Yeah. Or you have to be sitting at this kid's table. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking care who you're talking Liv, to. Let's go. Listen, don't you fucking Do talk to I don't fucking hear your goddamn voice. Uh oh. Hey man, fuck you. You kids too. Yeah, he pulled the fucking switchblade out on you. Yeah, right. I probably wouldn't stand in front of the car. Oh, that's his car. How he do that? Where your keys at? Get your blood. Oh, fuck. He got him good. Damn. Psychic link. Oh, uh, stabs on Netflix. Really, dude? Suspect. <laughs> no, well he's there, so I guess he ain't the killer. You're not supposed to say that in the room with them, man. You jackass, uh, Huey. What? How you doing, Sam? Antipsychotics aren't working as well as they used to, are they? What the fuck? Fuck. Someone who knows your little family secret. Okay, who the fuck is this? Back here somehow. Didn't I, I, he got everybody's number. Come and get me. With pleasure. <gasps> These women, they tough as nails. So she went in this fight on the ground with a chair. Her sister whipped your whipped ass and her foot was broke. And she only weighed like 50 pounds. Yo, this dude is weak. What's going on? What's going on? You're okay. Somebody tried to kill me in the break room. I've got a body outside a bar on Main, and then you get attacked here. And where were you when all this happened? Watching Netflix. Deputy Vincent knows what he's doing. You'll be safe. Like we've been so far? Your presence here is not helping. So maybe when the sun comes up, you and your boyfriend can hit the road. What? That's her sister, baby boo. What the fuck are you talking about? And somebody just tried to attack her. Come on, Netflix. Let's go. Netflix. <laughs> I'm gonna look on Netflix, see the stab on there, because I want to see it. Oh, I have already seen it. Do you remember when Dad left? 
parts, sure. Do you remember how mom used to keep those boxes up in the attic? And I found these old diaries that she kept from high But I read some anyway because mom got pregnant with me. All right. Mom was dating dad, but she was in love with this other guy. And I just found out my dad isn't my dad. And shoving this diary in her face, and I didn't even realize that dad was standing right behind me. That's fucked up. He left that night. Oh. And that's why I, I changed and, and I got distant. Those diaries told me who my real father was. It was Billy Loomis. And somebody knows. Five whole years and then I get stabbed and you want to come back and you want to drop all this shit on me? No. That's kind of fucked up, but that's fucked up too though. Is he trying to come clean? Netflix. I knew it. No, no, of course not. You know that part in horror movies where you want to yell at the characters to be smart and get the fuck out? If you we can take her home, Landy, he can handle this clown. You're such a dumbass. Such a dumbass. Wednesday in the mid-50s, and then finally we'll see those hey. mid-60s returning into next. Go away! Give me one good reason why I should talk to you. I'm Billy Loomis's daughter. That's a terrible reason. <laughs> Five minutes. That's all I'm at. Don't come in here with that shit. <laughs> Listen, I'm done with that. He looks divorced, and he looks like he ain't working neither. I'm just guessing. Express any interest in Woodsboro or the... Ghostface killings? There's certain rules to surviving a stab movie. So, if I'm in danger, that means you're in danger. Let's do this together. Your time's up. Jesus. Yeah, get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> Our local weather, the pros and cons of reuniting. Okay. I like how this is going. I like this. Hello? Hey, Sid, it's me. Do we? <laughs> Y'all never stay in contact. How are things in the sheriff's business? Uh, they're... They're fine. Sid, it, it's happening again. Oh, shit. What are you talking about? You know what he's talking about. <laughs> Just want you to be safe up there. Do you have a gun? I'm Sidney fucking Prescott. Of course I have a gun. <laughs> Are you serious? No matter what you hear or what you see on the news, don't come here. No, they don't. You be safe, okay? Will do. Okay. I've decided to temporarily assist you in your investigation. Thank you. Randy was our uncle. R.I.P. What's the ex-sheriff doing time? He said to bring everybody. Hey, oh, wow. The... Julie, hi. Set up. Oh, wow. I am She's grown now. So let me get this straight. You're saying that you're Shit. the daughter of Billy Loomis and what? And you know this motherfucker got... No offense. None taken, but what's my motive? You got stabbed a billion times. Because that cut deep. That douche nozzle is connected. Oh my God, he's making a requel. Okay, remember the stab movie that came out last year? Oh yeah, the one the Knives Out guy directed. How they crammed in social commentary just to make it elevated. How the main character is a Mary Sue. Real stab. And you know this motherfucker got, this motherfucker got everybody's number. Come on, it's just a movie. And everybody's address and keys to everybody's car. Horror that mom or dad showed them when they were 10 that bonded them together. Have you been out of work or something? Our killer is writing his own version of Stab 8, but doing it as a requel. But you can't just do a straight sequel either. Uh, you gotta build something new, but not too new, or the internet goes bug fucking nuts. Not quite a reboot, not quite a sequel, like the new Halloween, Saw, Terminator, Jurassic Park. Who's next? Going by the pattern, whoever it is has to be connected to someone that came before. I'm starting to regret coming here. <laughs> I think it's pretty clear who the killer is at this point. Who? You? <sighs> Fuck this. First fucking rule of these movies is don't split up! Are you gonna run away from who you are like you always do? Or are you gonna use it 
find out who's doing this and cut some fucking throats. Let's go. <laughs> mm. Why we gotta cut throats, Daddy? Why we just can't protect ourselves? Why we gotta cut people throats? Set up. Set up. And you know this motherfucker got this motherfucker got everybody's number. Okay. Can you put this away for me? Everybody's address and keys to everybody's car. Sheriff Hicks. Hello, Sheriff. Oh shit. This. I think you know. And his fucking squad car? I'll tell you all about it. I'm going to turn myself in. By the time I see you, I'll have gutted your baby boy. <laughs> What's in the shower? This dude is fucking crazy. You killing? You killing cops, kids? He's a good kid. Now. He never hurt anyone. Fuck. Get in time. So what? Five minutes? Get your piece. Hop out. Jackie Chan this bitch. Ah. I promise. Ah. Oh! We just stabbed the sheriff in the front. This dude is brave. Ah. And he, he can't fight women on the ground. Ah. We just Jackie Chan her. Nobody seen this shit. Oh man. Damn, your mom was outside getting murdered while you was in the shower. Damn, that is fucking terrible. Oh, he ain't gonna kill both of them, is he? This dude ain't that fucking bold. Is he in there? Cause she dead in the front yard. Well, we gotta watch so much of his chores. Okay. They know we know that. Oh, Wes. Wes Craven. I'm very slow. I don't know if you know that. I just got that. And that movie's been running for how long? An hour? Almost an hour. And I just got his name is Wes. Mom? Yeah, he about to get both of them. This dude is bold. He just killed the sheriff in front of her house. Oh, come on, man. Damn, Wes. Damn, that's dark. You see the whole shit. Dark with that shit. Killed him and his moms. Damn, look at that shit. What? You can't be here. No, I'm sorry. I know her son. Her son, Wes. Is he? I'm sorry. You're not gonna just walk away, are you? Because <laughs> we'd have went right on in after you'd have walked away. Excuse me. Oh, uh, shit. She didn't like me very much. She didn't really like me either. I'm Gail. She ain't seen Dewey. How long has it been since you've seen Dewey? A text? Ow! Well, tell me the killer is back in a text? Ow, that hurts. Good! <laughs> Punch him in his arm. Don't be an idiot, Dewey. I'm here because I was worried about you. But 90% is because of you. Well, I feel 90% better. I feel 90% better. <laughs> Why aren't you in uniform? Retired. Since when? Yeah, since they asked me to. I don't need your pity, Gail. But you are not a cow. Promise me you'll leave as soon as you can. You know, I can't promise that. I'm sorry about Judy. Yeah, she was under Dewey. But she'll make a great chapter in your next book. Jesus Christ, where have you been? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, that mini girl wasn't kidding. I, I, I mean, are, are, are you okay? Are, where are you? I'll call you right back. No, Sam? Who's watching my sister? I just heard about the sheriff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're going. What are you waiting for? Drive. Including staff of the damn hospital, cause I ain't seen none of them yet. <laughs> this motherfucker kicked your ass, but you kicked his ass though. And you alive. Yes, there is. You 
Y'all better not go back and kill this girl. She done already defeated him. That should be enough. Damn. He broke her shit all the way up. Where is the staff? Damn it. A phone call right now. <laughs> Poor babe. <gasps> oh, this motherfucker is crazy. He killing cops. <laughs> This is crazy, yo. I guess he killed all the staff because there ain't nobody in this hospital. Must have been after COVID. Oh, that's just something you heard. Call nobody. Last thing I seen on cable was like Stargate SG12 or some shit. It's got MacGyver on it. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, shit! Yo, she is fucking tough! And that shit hurt. Every spin hurt. You know here, chump. Richie! Are you at the hospital? Hello, Samantha. No. What? He's finding out what happens to people who stick their no. noses in business no. that doesn't concern them. No. Kill Richie. No. 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 no, fuck you. I'm begging you, please don't hurt her. Maybe you're too weak for this franchise. No. Or maybe I'm just stalling for time, fuckhead. Oh. <laughs> that was gangster. <laughs> Never seen that before. Okay. That wasn't new. I got you. If I have seen it before, I don't remember. Get the other Hell no. Get your ass up! Right. Oh, no. Where is everybody else? <laughs> Dewey! Oh. You have to shoot him in the head. Oh, shit. He gonna be gone. Man, that was whack, man. Yes. Oh. This how y'all kill Dewey? That's some bullshit. Oh, no. Damn, damn. Of course you're gonna get away, cause don't nobody work at the hospital. Dewey in the bag. That's how they did Dewey, man. Dewey's supposed to die five movies ago. That's just me. I don't care for this part. This is a good movie, though. Uh, I think so. But I don't care for that part. Damn, so what? The dude had a vest on? I don't give a fuck about that phone ringing. I would have checked that shit afterwards. That's just me. I came as soon as I heard. Oh, you shouldn't be here. Kill Dewey. Damn. How are you feeling? Every time I get attacked, they give me better painkillers. Oh, y'all cool now? That's good. Y'all gonna need each other through this shit. For being the reason that left. So y'all gotta get y'all shit together. Uh, or who you came from. Well, oh, I'm cutting this shit off. Why didn't you come to me back then? I could have helped. Because... <sighs> he like, let's slit some throats. <laughs> Your daddy told you. I'm sorry if that's weird for you. No, no, it's... I've been through this. A lot. I tried running too. Beth. What do you want from me, lady? Hey, watch your tone, new girl. New girl. You want me to help you and the host of a morning show? <laughs> oh, it's, oh, they done did this before. He killed your friend. He killed ours. And I have kids, which means I won't sleep until he's in the ground. All right. Let's get the fuck out of town, huh? Dewey, call somebody at Vought. <laughs> you said it yourself. He's going to go after her. I put a tracker on her car. You did what? 
It seemed like something Gail Weathers would do. Should we go back? Whoa, okay. I vote for not going back to the murder hospital. Do you want to stop at a pharmacy? She needs it. Yeah, and I need to keep all the blood inside my body. So do you. <laughs> so please. Need to keep them inside my body. A party. We haven't had that yet. In the looming specter of death. Hey, we're low on beer. All right, there's one in the basement. I'll go get some. Um, nope. Yeah, y'all better send somebody else to go get this shit. I ain't gonna. Y'all do know somebody killed your homie and his mom at the house, right? Okay. Yes. You know what else you shouldn't do when there's a masked killer around? Follow someone into a dark, creepy basement alone. I, I didn't know what was about to happen on that one. You know, I, I'm, I'm not like entirely sure that you're not the killer. <laughs> hey, you know it's real when you pass up on the pass up. You got the music playing shots. Stay your ass in there. That boy's smart. We're just gonna sit here and watch a movie about our uncle getting stabbed. <laughs> oh my god, at least take some sort of weapon. Here you go. And hey, you know better. You said so yourself. Alright. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> Hell oh he dropped it! I hope he ain't get a major artery. Damn, he can't hit the buttons. Oh, he is leaking. Who is a party in the middle of a killing spree? Look, I'm aborting the plan. No, no, we're already here. I'll go in quickly and get it. No, it's it's fine. Don't tell me I get it. Just be safe, okay? So, uh, if I were you, I would probably leave. Okay, I tried to be nice, get the fuck out! <laughs> I'm saving your life, I promise. Never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, say, I'll be right back. Cause you won't be back. Do you know if there's any beer left? There's none in the kitchen. Yes, Richie, there's beer in the basement. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can't have sex, and I can't get a ride home. He actually went looking for you. Just revising my suspect list. But you're not gonna go look for him. Fuck this. Okay. You know what eventually happens to the expert? What? Oh shit. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy! Oh shit. You're in Stu Mocker's house where your dad and Stu killed everyone. Someone planned to get you there. You need to get the fuck out, Sam. No, Jamie. And he looked behind you. I'd never think that if I'm reacting to a movie, it's a motherfucker behind me, really. <laughs> oh! Fuck you. Why is there blood on your hands? What? Fuck you, Amber. I know. Oh, shit. Tara! Wait, wait, no, no, Sam. She has a Richie, gun. She has a gun. There are always two killers. Sam. Where's your sister? Keep his ass down now. Don't trust him no more. Don't trust him. Oh, they both got pistols. Let's go, baby. Rock and roll. Friends, bitch. Let's do it. What do you think? Uh-uh. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> You gotta go to the hospital. No. What the fuck? It was like, nah. <laughs> nah. I don't trust that shit at all. Girl, you look you look fabulous. You look fabulous. Anyone hiding, killer or not, you have five seconds to show yourself. Killer or not. And she got a gun too now. Where's your sister? I ain't opening that door. Take them off. 
This movie's good. Hello, Sydney. Oh, God. I'm so tired of hearing that shit. Oh, there's two of you. Again. I've seen this movie before. I got you here, didn't I? Sydney, stop shooting through doors. Put your hand up. Bring everything. <laughs> Don't let her get that gun, or him, or whoever the fuck. Yes! Thank God you're okay. Oh, shit! Dewey! The other Dewey. Really? Sit the fuck down, Prescott! <laughs> fuck, he is killing her. Our oh, perfect thief. <laughs> so why, now? What really was the best choice for the movie? He look like Dennis Quaid, boy. But he look like your daddy right there. <laughs> That's the point, right, Amber? Killers reveal. Check. Time for the big finale. Hey, baby, you want to go get the uh, very ex, Mrs. Riley? Yeah, I do. I'm a really big fan. Go fuck yourself. You see the last Stab movie? Not really a fan of scary movies. You don't fucking understand. These movies are important to people. Richie. And we're going to help them. <laughs> Sit the fuck down! Back up. Back up. The daughter of Billy Loomis who sees fucked up visions of her dead dad? Sidney Prescott killed your father. But the illegitimate daughter of the original mastermind? <sighs> now that's a fucking villain. We realized pretty quickly we had similar ideas. Wasn't that hard for me to find you in the dust town? See, we had to bring the legacy characters back to make it matter. That, that, that makes sense. Well, I did say he was weak, it was her. Because our movie has fucking stakes! Oh! No, 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 no. Sit the fuck down. You done stabbed all of them. It would just be ridiculous. This time, the fans are gonna be the ones who get Tara out of the closet. We gotta go start staging the bodies. The fuck do you mean she's not here? She's not here! And tighter. Oh, shit. Beating her ass with the crutches. Oh, shit. Oh. Hit his ass. Oh, don't you hit the leg, son. Where are you going, huh? Your big seat's coming up. Uh, kill you. Oh, double team that heifer. No, it's not my yeah. fault, it's not my fault! Yeah, yes it is. My movie fans, yes, they're so mad, please. It's you killed my best friend! Yeah, and he died like a pussy. Oh, 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 they grabbed the wound. That always hurts me. Oh, God, you all are terrible. No one's gonna save this time. Your story's over. It's all yours, bitch! Oh, she headbutted her! This one's yours. What? Dewey, no, fuck you. no. Oh, you killed Dewey. Oh! That was overkill. I love it. Enjoy that torch. <laughs> they are unfucking forgiving. It's the fifth one. I, I want them to be the killers in the next movie. Where's your gun at, man? Why is your girlfriend beating your ass? Oh, they both went down the stairs. Pop out of that closet in a ghost face mask? Because you're the villain. So <laughs> crazy daddy. I'm introducing a new rule. Why you talking shit? You ain't get the knife yet. Well, never fuck with the daughter of a serial killer. Oh! God damn! God damn! Oh, shit! Oh! What about my ending? Here it comes. Oh. Damn, she cut his throat! Are you just like your daddy? <laughs> you are just like your daddy. Damn.
Yeah. Careful, I always come back. Yeah. God damn, she is wicked. Oh. I still prefer the Papadook. <laughs> what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> That was good. Wow. You ready to go? Man, she got a knife in her gut and it was twisted. Is she walking around? And both of you have were shot. Thank you both. I know you probably got a displaced hip or something. You are right. About not running. Not this. Those fuckers can die in anonymity. Can I ask you a weird question? Yeah. Am I gonna be okay? Eventually. Yeah. The 2022 horror thriller film, Scream 5. Hey, hey, that was a good movie. I like that movie. I'm not the biggest fan of the Scream franchises. I know what they are, and they keep it what they are, uh, but this was pretty damn good. I was very... I didn't expect to see things that I didn't recognize. I felt like it was more more or less paying homage than it was copying with those movies that did. And it did feel Wes Cravish, but I believe it also had something new to, to, to uh, add to it. It had some really cool ideas in this movie. Richie, I was not surprised that Richie was one of the killers. When I first saw his face, I said, uh, that's a killer right there. I didn't know for sure, but I kind of felt it. You know what I mean? I guess David Arquette said, you know, I'm good. I don't want to be here no more. I was fucked up. You know what it was? We were so used to them making it through the movies. I, I guess they felt like it, to bring those characters back, it had to really pay off this time. I guess they're going to kill all of them eventually. Uh, how poetic would that be? I guess. I don't know. I had a really good time with it. I thought it was funny. I was thrilled. Thrill me, baby. I was thrilled. I had a great time. Now, let me know. We'll talk about it. We got more movies to cover. Because we do.